So we got a lot of new mods added with the Jade Shadows update. One of them I want to showcase today is going to be Semi Rifle Cannonade. Now, why is that? Well, it's basically a better version version of Serration, and it has its upsides and downsides. So, what are they? Well, the Semi Rifle Cannonade can give you plus 240% damage, plus 1.5 punch through but your fire rate cannot be modified at all, as you can see by the lock. But there's a catch. While it can't be modified, it also can't be decreased. So your base is 4.17. If I add Shred, it's 5.42. And if I add Critical Delay, it's 3.33. Now what happens when I add Semi-Rifle Cannonade? Well, it goes back to 4.17. So you can even add things just like Vile Precision you get all the benefits with none of the downsides. So, how does the weapon feel now with using semi-rifle cannonade? Real quick before we start killing, I did change the my rounds to galvanize up to because we do plan on using a priming pet. But before that, how does the semi-auto uh, semi-rifle cannonade help the Latron? Well, it increases my damage with ease, and basically you don't feel the downside of not having an increase or a decrease in fire rate. It still makes the gun hit really hard, still does a lot of damage, and it even works with the Incarnon uh, Genesis, as it is the only Incarnon Genesis that can currently equip this. But obviously that is just the Corrupted. What about the other enemy types? So that was the Corrupted. What about the uh, Murmur? Well, ooh, same thing. Uh, it's gonna basically slaughter them with no issue whatsoever. Even non-crits, Snake takes a lot of damage, as you can tell. What about the Incarnon? Well, as you can see, it does not struggle at all and has no issues. But once again, that's more armored enemies. What about things like the uh, Corpus? All right, and we got some Corpus. I still somehow don't have the battle group, but that's all right. Well, one shot does a lot of damage, still easily kills them with no problem whatsoever. What about with the um, Incarnon? Same thing, just absolutely slaughters. All right, with that one being really quick, I'll spawn in some Infested. Let's see how it does against them. All right, and now we got a good mixture of Infested. So how does it deal with them? Well, once again, uh, basically no issue whatsoever as long as I can actually hit my shots. So that's just the base gun. What about the Incarnon? Well, once again, it's boosting it quite a bit. So it's not having basically any issues. Well, as you see, it didn't struggle at all. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my pet. We're going to go to a uh, Steel Path mission, and we'll see how it works in an actual open environment. So I'll see you all there. All right, and we're here in an Exter mission. So how does it handle? Well, obviously, my aim is horrible, so it's handling poorly. But hey, it does handle quite well. It's strong. As you can see, we have plenty of damage. I'm having issues, obviously, with how much I'm zoomed in. But obviously, as you can see, I'm... That's interesting. This one's really close. I'm not having any issues getting any kills. The damage is quite nice, and... Oh, oh my god. Some very nice red crits, as you can see by the uh, the damage, 1.2 mil right there. And since I am on uh, Jade, obviously, we can also run a Fanium Eyes so we can get free armor strip on top of having our primer pet and just keep everything uh, basically moving on and keep doing more and more damage. It, we get tons of damage and I can just keep on having my buffs refresh, I guess. And for once, it's actually fun to have a viral slash build because we are using Hunter Munitions. But at the same time, as you can see, we're hitting really hard crits. Enemies take a ton of damage. Just It's just basically a one shot. It feels like this could keep going for quite a while too, to be honest with you. As you can see, just easy damage, no, no problems whatsoever. But obviously I want to get to an Acolyte, so I'll get to the Acolyte and I'll come back to y'all. There we go. Finally, at the basically the very end of my mission, it decides to spawn, which is just a little upsetting. But as you can see, still no issues whatsoever. So, how does the deal? Well, I'll be damned. Basically, no issue whatsoever, but... It's, it's strong. It's very strong, but I, I'll show up the final build and I'll give my final thoughts on semi-rifle canode. There is the final build if Oris would shut up, but that's the final build. It is a mixture of a little bit of viral with a lot of uh, crit using a lot of uh, status thanks to Galvanized Aptude and also because this is basically going to show uh, overload for, well, weapons. Overall, pistol uh, semi-rifle uh, cannonade, cannonade, whatever, very powerful stronger than a max down serration. If, it, if you are able to put it on your weapon and be fine with the fire rate you get, I would say it is a must. 
because it also gives you extra punch through, which is nice on a lot of weapons. And overall, it's just stronger and cheaper than using a maxed out serration and or uh, basically, I don't think anything else replaces it other than Galvanized Chamber, but at the same time, it's good to have Galvanized Chamber and this mod because you're getting the ton of multi-shot out of this and you're getting all the damage and the punch through out of this with no real downsides because you're fixing any negatives you're giving yourself. So even Rivens that have negatives, like negative fire rate, semi-rifle cannonade or cannonade <clears throat> will be able to basically get rid of that issue. But other than that, I hope you guys have a rest of your day, afternoon, evening, morning, midnight. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe so you get notified whenever, uh, well, the subscribers so you get notified whenever I go live and like tells me you guys enjoy this because guess what? There will be a video on the shotgun one and the pistol one coming out soon. I'll get those videos made and posted as soon as possible. Other than that, have a great rest of your time. Peace out, everybody.